Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this Nintendo Direct reaction watch along video with me, Killjoy. Uh, as you can see, there is uh, we're very close to the new Nintendo Direct in September, and uh, yeah, I'm going to do what I normally do and watch along and give my thoughts and reactions as I see it. Uh, it is live, and. Um, but before I get into it, the reason I'm starting a little bit earlier is I want to give you 10 predictions that I have for this Direct. Some pretty obvious, some no, not so much. Um, so I'm going to go through these now while we're waiting for this timer to count down. Um, first off, Super Mario Party 2, I reckon, will be getting announced today. I think it will be coming in December. They don't really have much for December, to my knowledge, right now. I could be wrong saying that, but I think we're going to get um, something there. And I think something's going to be shown off. And I think it's going to be that. I think it'll be a perfect December game. Great just before Christmas. Um, you know, great to just do it. Get it out there. So I think that's going to be happening. Um, I don't think they're going to bother expanding on the first one. I think they're going to basically be able to put this out. New new maps and uh, a bunch of new content. And hopefully just an expanded version of the first one. Just new cool ideas. Uh, next up, I've put down Smash DLC. Uh, showing off Banjo-Kazooie. I think we're going to get a bit of information about him. Or at least some information as to when he'll be shown off. Um, and then on top of that, I also think we're going to get shown the next fighter in the Fighter Pass. Obviously, heavy rumours at the moment for SNK. Um, everyone's thinking it's probably going to be Terry Bogard from, I believe it's Fatal Fury. Which will be pretty cool, but hopefully... There's some fun things they can show off with that. I know SNK isn't necessarily the most hype thing, but they do have a big presence in the fighting games uh, community and in the world, and they have made a lot of arcade games. Uh, they also did Metal Slug, so I'd be okay with a Metal Slug character, but yeah, thinking we're going to get Banjo, and then maybe at some point uh, showing off Terry or whoever it is from SNK, or at least we're going to see the next fighter anyway. Um, bit of a crazy one. This is kind of two in one. Um, I've put down here, and I'm still going to forever keep asking for these. I've put down an F Zero F Zero GX remake, or an Advance Wars remake, or collection. So starting with F Zero, these are the two games I want the most: F Zero and Advance Wars. But F Zero, I think, maybe rather than making a new one, they just need to make get GX, redo the engine, or re make the game look nicer. Stick an online mode in there and re-release that on Switch. I think that game is full of content. Put all the AX content in there as well perfect game for Switch. Great way to know if people want a new F-Zero game by re-releasing GX, which I think is one of the best ones, and having online on there would be awesome. Um, as for Advance Wars, I, I desperately want a new Advance Wars game. The Switch is perfect for it, and Honestly, if they're not going to make a brand new one, remake the first one. I don't know, give it some, give it 2.5D visuals or something. Um, or, I put down a collection, like, bring all of the Advance Wars games to Switch. Because, honestly, they are four really solid games. And I think you could do a package and you could sell that and add some new content. Or uh, you could do something with it to really, really um, have some value to it. And I would love to see Advance Wars. I'd also love to see an F-Zero compilation. So if they don't do GX, a re remake of GX, then absolutely do like a compilation of the games, stick that on Switch, I love those things, those games, both those series desperately need some love, and they're like, today if we get either of those, if we ever get F-Zero or Advance Wars, I probably will lose my mind a bit, um, also another game series I personally very much enjoy is, uh, I would like to see a new Wario Land game announced, it'll be okay if it's um, uh, WarioWare, but I really don't want that, I want a, a brand new Wario Land game, like Shake It or Shake Dimension, depending on where you're from in the world. That game was incredible, amazing art style, brilliant game. I want something like that, just a really good 2D uh, platformer Wario game. Um, I think we're going to see a Super Mario 3D World port coming out, and that will probably be for January or February. Um, I think it's about time. They'll probably want to start the year with some an easy game to just put out. We've recently just started, recently played through 3D World. You're going to start seeing that come up on the channel. Um, great game, probably one of the best 3D Mario games. It plays more like a 2D one. It's very much point to point, very linear game, but it is incredible, fantastic soundtrack, amazing visuals, very colourful game. Um, I think we've just had Bulletstorm put on the Switch. This would be the time with Borderlands 3 coming out fairly soon. I think this is the time to put Borderlands 1 and 2, and maybe pre-sequel, but mainly 1 and 2. One, the Enhanced Edition, and then two, uh, on the Switch. I want one of these games to come to Switch. I would buy this again. I already own <laughs> these games twice, but I would buy that again for the Switch. That was an awesome game to be able to play on the fly. So I'm, I'm hoping we get a we get an announcement for a port of one of those to come into Switch. Um, probably this year. Uh, hopefully both games. Uh, next up, we've got Bethesda. I think Bethesda are going to bring Prey or Rage 2 to the Switch. 
I don't know why I think this, but I, we've had uh, we've got Doom coming out this year. We've had the old Doom. We've had Wolfenstein. We've had Skyrim. I, I honestly think Bethesda will probably think about putting Prey or Rage 2 on there. Maybe the original Rage. Maybe Fallout, but I'm not so sure about that. But I got this hunch that we're going to get something Bethesda in this. Um, oh, I did miss out Overwatch. Not really much of a prediction at this point, but I'm going to predict it anyway. We're going to get Overwatch in this uh, direct. It got leaked, the case, and then apparently the game got leaked earlier today. So, probably going to happen. Um... And then two two last ones. Um, I think if SNK are bringing Terry to Smash, I think SNK are also going to bring over one of the King of the Fighters, probably 15 or 14. I think that's where they're at. I think 14's out and 15's out. One of those two ones coming to Switch, I think that makes total sense, bringing like a fight, one of the newer fighting games. You've got all the old games on there. You've got Metal, all the old Metal Slugs, Art of Fighting, Fatal Fury. I think Art of Fighting's on there. But um, King of Fighters is definitely on there, so... I could see them bringing one of the new ones over. And then lastly, um, some uh, Super Mario Maker 2 DLC. I feel like there's been oddly quiet for that game. and like I feel like we should really have heard, had a content update at this point. What I'm really looking forward to is if they're going to add a lot more enemies. I haven't done the video I wanted to do on it, but Super Mario Bros. 3, there's still a lot of enemies and obstacles in that game that aren't in um, Mario Maker 2, and I would really, really like to see that happen. Uh, along with you know stuff from the other games that maybe the uh, world could be incorporated stuff from the other games if they haven't already um, if not I would like to see a brand new style maybe Mario Brothers 2 I would actually really enjoy that I like Mario Brothers 2 I think it's a fantastic game maybe some stuff from Lost Levels like we haven't really seen a huge amount you could do some tile sets from that or maybe you could do some of the crazy mechanics with like the springs and stuff that'd be pretty fun maybe they go with some other styles Possibly the Game Boy styles, that would be kind of fun. You've already got the uh, the, the Super Flower, whatever it's called, that lets you fire up the Super Balls. So that would be cool. But yeah, those those are my, my 10 predictions. If I get anything right in there, that would be cool. I mean, Smash is pretty much a given, so is Overwatch, is uh, probably Mario Maker. Um, the rest of them, though, I'm not 100% certain on. But really, for me, what I want to see is F-Zero, Advance Wars, or Wario Land. That's really what I want to get out of this. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure we're going to get a bunch of cool announcements. But those three franchises are really what I want to see now. And I think this is the time... Nintendo are missing a trick if they don't start putting these certain franchises on the Switch. This thing keeps making... Like, their games are hitting like 2, 3, 4 million, you know, like, copies on a lot of these games. It's insane. Fire Emblem's done really well. I mean, ARMS, for fuck's sake, did like a million. And that was like a brand new IP. Like, you look at what's doing really well and it's just insane. Anyway, 10 seconds to go. We're getting about, about to get into it. Oh, it's going to be good. The cat's looking at me. This is great. She's happy. I'm happy. Let's do this. Peggy, 18. Ooh. Oh, we're going to get some violence. Right. Right, Mr. Nintendo Man. What are you going to show me today? Show me the good stuff. Ooh, yes. Come on. Overwatch. They're just starting with it. <laughs> Amazing. Well... Kind of makes sense, I suppose. Probably like a year too late, a couple years too late, it feels like, but it looks good. Like, graphically, it looks pretty much the same. I mean, I could be wrong because I haven't played the others, but. Oh, yeah! I'm not a big fan of Overwatch, I'm going to be honest. It's not really my cup of tea, but the fact that it's coming to Switch, kind of, I think this is going to do really well on the Switch, actually. Um, I'd be surprised if it didn't. Oh, there's gyro controls! Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's probably the best thing they could have added, really. You gotta hand it to Blizzard, you know, like they're gonna do a good port of this. So Diablo 3 is pretty good. It's got its own content and stuff, so. Oh! Ah, <laughs> oh, diva. Quite literally a diva. Come in Oh, October. Damn. That's it, they're just literally going to show a trailer. みなさん、おはようございます。任天堂ダイレクトの案内役を務めます高橋です。最初にご覧いただいたのはリザードエンターテイメントさんのオーバーウォッチです。今年の10月に発売予定されていますので、今後の続報にご期待ください。そうですね
Now this, oh wow, look at that. Haunted hotel. This game is looking better and better the more I'm seeing of it. I'm not really a big point, Luigi's Mansion fan, suits. to be honest. So, I mean, I'm kind of curious about this. Hotel? Huh. Guess we should expect some mummies, harsh sands, this looks and fun. booby traps. I'm loving the art style of this game, it's incredible. Well, there's a disco floor. A pirate themed restaurant. Oh wow. You get the idea. They're really going all out with the this. Usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you well, check out. <laughs> Speaking of amenities, Scream step right up park. to this all new attraction. What are you bring into this. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. Oh nice. With only one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can battle it out. <laughs> the most ghosts. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergust G00. Oh wow, break that's the cool. Most targets. Hey, even Luigi needs a break sometimes. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st. Oh wow. Just in time for Halloween. They are really adding a lot to this game. Get a load of this new free to start Kirby game. Oh no. Kirby, that's Kirby, all... Kirby, and Kirby are teaming up again to face tough bosses. Free to We're start. It Super Kirby Clash. Take up Interesting. quests in town. And collectively, you and your team will pick four jobs. Hammer Lord. That's me. That is, I'll take That's the hammer. Right. Get your weapons. Get Doesn't your he look so cute? And get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. Oh, it's kind of like a Monster Hunter Kirby game. 100 <laughs> quests. So, get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right job. Oh my god, I thought he was fighting bubbles then. The key to victory is to know your yeah. role and work <laughs> as a team. You can play alone, together on one console, team up via local wireless. Oh, look, they'll switch light. Or even play online. Oh, what are you doing? You fool. You fool! <laughs> It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around That's the world pretty fun. and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches shortly oh, that's the shadow drop. Nice. And hey, it's free to start too. What do we have to buy for that then? This longed, recently released RPG is getting a remake. Trials After of Mana. Five years. Fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake I forgot about this. of the third game announces in the it E3, I think. Trials of Mana. From six different Don't know if it's my cup of tea. You'll choose a protagonist and two companions. The ones you I'm choose not a will huge which RPG of the fan. To be honest, I do like them. This reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen to dear Jessica if I die. Oh yes. This interference will not be forgotten. As each player <laughs> advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class. I hope this is good for people that really enjoy these kind of games, like, I know this series is very well, um, loved, I know Secret of Mana is very well loved on the SNES, so. Unlike the classic version, characters have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for each member of your party. They've obviously been working on this for a while, then. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning to turn. Hmm. Find out what's in store for April. the beloved world. That's not 2019. You lied. You lied. That's probably a good time for that to come out, though. <laughs> Just what happened to the crew of this doomed ship? What the, the hell? Overton vanished at sea in 1803, only to wash up four years later. <laughs> what found on earth England, is no this? No sign of survivors. The fate of the crew remains unknown. What interesting art As style. An insurance investigator for the East India Company. You must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance and return. The Your hell? analysis will rely heavily on one less than ordinary device. Use the power of the Momentum Mortem Pocket Watch to turn back time and witness each soul's last moment. Oh. You bastards may take exactly what I give you! Explore the ship. Interesting. Observe the situation and record your logical deductions. Interesting. Without you, what? the true tale will never be told. This is such an interesting what brought the look to such on this an game. End? Very acquired taste, that, I'll little, be honest. It's not the sort of thing I would normally enjoy, but it does look pretty cool. Solve the mystery. Not my cup of tea, though. I don't really like these kind of games. Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in autumn 2019. An indie company? Hashtag. <laughs> There's a small town out there. Oh, with town. A big secret. They're finally showing this off. Little town hero. Never leave nice. Town. That is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. Hmm. Must be such a long time since they turned this off. There suddenly appeared a giant monster. He left the town. The townspeople, 
one boy named Axe will stand up to face it. And the only weapons he'll need are ideas. Huh. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's oh, any hope to win. Oh, It's cool. That's a cool During thing. battle, you can move around to garner support from townspeople. Take advantage to gain the advantage. This is a really interesting game, by the looks of it now. Seize every opportunity nice art style, though. to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. But and please tell me it's out next year, though, because it's going to get lost. The game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Toby Fox made the music. Little Ooh. town hero will make a stand on Nintendo really? Switch October 16th. That seems... You can preload the game from Nintendo eShop shortly after this presentation. Damn, that seems super close. I thought they were going to wait until next year. Well, hey! Hey! Banjo! Here we go. We can finally confirm the release date of Challenger Pack 3. This Banjo month. Banjo and Kazooie. Be this... This month? Please be this month. <laughs> the release date is... Today. What? After today's Nintendo Direct, oh, we'll broadcast shit. a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie, featuring the game's director, Nice, Sakurai. nice. Damn. As a special treat, the video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. Oh, nice. To tide yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie, Whoa. please check it out. Double whammy of awesome stuff then. <laughs> First. Oh shit! Here we go. Is it gonna be SNK? Oh, what is going on here? This is an interesting trailer. Yes. Oh the yeah, Neo Geo. Oh nice. <laughs> I like it already. Who are we getting then? Are we gonna get Terry? Because quite frankly, he seems like the mascot of it. Oh god, show Ken. Or are they gonna do like a tag team thing? Terry? Oh no, that's what's his face. Nope. He's not getting it. Who is picking? That is kind of cool. Geese! <laughs> I like all these references. Oh my god, they're, refer they're referencing every single. Like, SNK game. What is going on here? Igor? Nope. Who? I'm guessing it's Terry, but like... Is that Terry? It is! Oh! Yes! Nice. Oh, please don't just show that. Show something else. Oh, I want to see, like, some gameplay. That is Fatal Fury it's actually crossing with. Awesome. Oh, he's coming November. Okay, well, that's fairly bloody soon, actually. <laughs> nice. Nice. So... Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the I battle. like his 3D model. That means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the Can I show the fifth pass. one? Can there really be only one left? Oh. Oh! Give us another fighter announcement. Yes! 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 Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Outside the five fighters included in the fighter. Yes! Other new fighters are in development. Yes, let's go! The isn't over yet. Yes! Yes! <laughs> That's exact. Oh my god. I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh! Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> oh, you bastards. No, 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 no. Let's go back. Let's go back. I want to see more. Ooh. It's about time to wake the windfish in the Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. I forgot about this. <laughs> the next big adventure on Nintendo Switch is fast approaching. You'll meet some strangely endearing. Oh islands. man, I. Me and Fruity were talking about the art style the other day. 
He's a bit unsure of it, but I just kind of like it. But oh, Kirby! I like the toy look. I'm, I've kind of one of these people that does enjoy it, but it's definitely an acquired taste. This isn't an art style for everyone. You can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. It's out this month as well, isn't it? So. And save chamber dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure oh nice a the cool thing about this Zelda game as well is going to really that make way, this game a lot better i think this is definitely going to be the definitive ready. version of how to play this game Zelda, Link's Awakening will simply because uh game. the original game's quite hard to go back to available that same day i've got the uh got the amiibo, 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 amiibo pre-ordered looking forward to that points. you know the hero's might oh god there's still now join his adventure. He's still advertising this. Oh. This game does look exactly pretty cool, that. to be fair. Like, this is this RPG I might actually get. But my god, Nintendo have really been pushing it. <laughs> That's cool, though. Love that mode. It's also got one of the longest names for a video game I think I've ever seen. The day the game launches, free downloadable content can be found in the Champions Pack. Including consumable items and more equipment that can change the. Oh, nice! You can look like the other heroes. An RPG giant draws near. I hope people buy this. Dragon like, Quest I want to get this. This might be something I get in December, though. I've got more time to play it. Until then, you can prepare for your adventure. Massive demo as well, apparently. Like, I need to get the demo. You can save and go over, so I need to get it. Should probably do that at some point. <laughs> Looking for more Fire Emblem goodness. Oh, Tokyo Mirage There's Sessions is coming over! How oh, awesome! The worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Encore. have crossed paths. Interesting. The result is coming to Nintendo Switch. So, this game's the story awesome. Takes place in modern Tokyo. Ah, they finally did it! So they finally brought it over. Into something called Performa. I can't believe they finally did it. <laughs> That's cool though. People. I'm happy about this. This game's good. What I play, I play about ten hours. Up and comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. I'm have to rebuy this. Fire Emblem characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Together, you'll wage deep turn-based battles, blending the combat if you like of the Fire Persona Emblem and, and Fire Emblem. And in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. Be sure to check out the other new features. From the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Oh, nice. Hey, is that Tiki? Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp X. Yeah, I'm about to get me that. That's awesome. I don't want to preload it because I can't get it until January. <laughs> Welcome back to where nothing is what it seems. What the hell is this? Boston, 2019. Deadly Premonition 2. Again, huh. when FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer uh, case. I never actually played Deadly Premonition. To the unknown, a door that also takes us back to New Orleans, 14 years ago. Here I know very little about this game. FBI agent the original anyway. By the name of York. The journey between past and present huh. will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth? Or madness. Interesting. Deadly Weird looking game. Two, a blessing in disguise boggles a blessing and in disguise. In <laughs> in nice. And now for the shocker. The original game in the series will launch on Nintendo eShop as Deadly Premonition Origins. Oh, shortly it's... Shortly after this presentation. That's the one with the dude with the axe. Okay, I know I know what that game is now. Divinity Original Sin oh! 2 Divinity Edition <laughs> is finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Check it out. Great game. Absolute fantastic game. Oh man, like, incredible soundtrack to this game, incredible gameplay, there's only one thing I didn't like about it and it was a little problem with the UI. This game is fucking phenomenal. If you've never played this game, get this game. This is incredible voice acting, incredible writing, like, oh man, it's so good. I've already got it on PC, this is the sort of thing I would probably buy again. This game is awesome. If, if, very difficult, because it is a difficult game. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. Huh. <laughs> That's awesome. Chicken! Also, this has a great way to end the game if you're playing multiplayer. You have to fight yourselves and things. It's, it's awesome. Oh, man. I kind of want to play it again. 
It's so good. Oh my god, the shadow dropping now? Oh my god, enough for the shadow drops. Holy and shit. Now for a oh, Doom Bethesda. 64! Hey, Nintendo fans. Pete Hines from Bethesda. On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Yeah, man. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person shooter franchises. Doom ever. Eternal is going to be good. To celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. I never played this. For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. Relive your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. I'm going to buy this. Or, if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. That looks awesome. It's BFG. Yeah, I don't know. Not, Doom I don't... 64 will release on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. Oh, wow. Is that near when Thingy comes out? Uh, Doom Eternal. That is awesome, though. I'm, a, I'm a definitely getting that. Introducing a brand new IP from developer High Res Studios, Rogue Company. High Res. For most of the world, Rogue Company is a rumor at best, huh. but its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these is elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. That's third person. Whether you wield guns, gadgets, or melee weapons, huh. your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, I'm weapons, guessing this is probably skins, coming to in-game events, and more. Other consoles when Rogue as well? Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Huh, I like the look of that. Keep them coming. It's going very well, thank you. Pocket Monster. Pocket Monster. I hope it's good, Sword and Shield. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region, a scenic land. It might be the first Pokemon game Pokemon I get back into. <laughs> a it's been a long Among time. Them, oh. And meet new people throughout your adventure. Oh my god, that's creepy. It's too big. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. Play local co op. First, customizing your look. Oh, cool. Once again, the latest <laughs> entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. Oh, boy. This time, it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety. Varsity including jacket. Outerwear and gloves. I'm going to make my dude look. Or, yeah, it probably will be a dude. I'm probably going to make him look proper silly. Plus, you can change your hairstyle. Oh, can I have an afro? Or I, I always like using an afro. Makeup. If uh, There's when using a lot uh, more to becoming a champion than simply honing when your using like create a character kind of thing. Part two, don't you think? Second, Pokemon Camp. Hello. During your journey through the Gala region, you can camp any time at Pokemon Camp. Stroke the Pikachu. While you're there, you can play with your. Oh Pokemon. my God! And as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. <laughs> That's cool. Feel free to steal their Pokemon. Your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. We definitely steal recommend them. interacting <laughs> with another player's Pokemon. Steal all of them. <laughs> That's a cool feature. Third, curry on rice. Pokemon Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, it's so British. I do love use. curry. We love curry in this country. Not to mention the heart <laughs> you put into it. Uh, why is there sausages on it? There are more than 100 types. No, and you don't put sausages in the curry. What are you doing? Curry Toast curry. To oh my god, what have curry. they done? Why is there a teapot What's Pokemon? That Pokemon doing here? What? We'll introduce some new Pokemon what the hell? discovered in the gallery. Poltergeist. First is Poltergeist. Normally, it <laughs> makes a home for itself by hiding amongst tableware at hotels and restaurants. It's <laughs> That's body oddly is specific. Tea, what? With its own aroma and <laughs> Go on, flavor. twat it. It may even allow a trusting trainer to taste its tea. Ugh. This ghost-type Pokemon also has a special ability called Weak Armor. 
Next, another new Pokemon called Cramorant. It's a seagull. This flying and water type <laughs> Pokemon has one huge appetite. It will swallow anything oh, they... it can fit in its mouth. <laughs> is it a seagull? I suppose when it's it a seagull, unless it's a fucking or pelican or something. During battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. Uh. If it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attack. Gulp missile. This is Cramorant's exclusive huh. new ability. <laughs> oh. That was kind of cool. And that's all we have to share with you today. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will launch on Nintendo Switch. That was kind of funny. I give him that. Take that. Boosh. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to get that game. It's been a long time. Now give us. Oh fucking hell! They're actually going to talk about the online memberships. What are we doing? We really ought to add a lot more games. Okay, so SNES games, fucking finally, finally. I can, but this is this is should have been coming out a long time ago. Now, his question is, they're going to the price because Stunt Race FX. Yes. <laughs> oh, Stunt Race. Oh. Joy-Con or Swakeshite no Taisen, Kyoryuk Player, Friend to no Kirby. I didn't play this Kirby game. Ooh, Super Ghouls and Ghosts. That game is absolutely rock hard. Oh, nice. So you can actually rewind it. Of Defense Force that started on SNES. Please tell me Super Soccer is coming. It is. Oh my god, I can finally get to play Super Soccer on this. It's going to be amazing. Please turn up the price. Oh, you beauties! Fucking finally! I might actually have to get those. <laughs> I don't need them, but I kind of want them. Oh, I, I want it. What? Oh, it's only 26 quid. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sold. I'll get it. I'm getting that. <laughs> I'm getting that. 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 And not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive against the best of the best? Oh, interesting. Well, good luck. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. I need to get this. I love Tetris. Like I've never missions. played this fucking you Tetris can game. Tickets and exchange them for a variety of Ooh. custom themes. Nice. Sweet. To showcase your accomplishments. Oh, I get cool we're music. in a vast array of new player icons too. Beyond that. The second wave of paid DLC is here as well. Huh. In two-player share battle mode, pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a two-player game against each other and the CPU, and get together with huh. friends to battle via local wireless nice. and Nintendo Switch systems in local arena mode. I need this game. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 wow, will be released on September Jesus 5th. Christ, everything's like now! Including the game, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12-month individual membership will be available September 20th. Jesus Christ. Everything's just coming out today. Ooh. Mario and Sonic are ready to kick it old school in Tokyo. I, I really like the look the of this game. Games has become a tradition of its own. Awesome. This time, there are more than 20 events, including the 100 meter, karate, football. Oh yeah. Skateboarding. I'm getting this. Rugby sevens. Sport oh, rugby. Climbing, <laughs> badminton, gymnastics. Call oh, Luigi. <laughs> and you know what? There's more where that came from. Check out these 10 uh, retro style events. These retro ones are flipping one awesome. Some sweet 2D style graphics. I love it. They're all new, all retro, and <laughs> refreshing to play. Go Bowser. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. 
Nice. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo. Ah, I love it. They seem to put so much effort into this game. I'm super happy about it. That's gonna be good. The next Damon X Machina demo will be here sooner Ooh. than you think. Ahead of the game's release next week, the free demo version Damon X Machina Prologue Demo will be available for download. Oh, nice! After I need to get this. Presentation. Give it well. In this prologue, you'll man your arsenal through the beginning of the game, and all of your progress can carry over to the full game. If this is a thing that I love when people do this with demos. Like this before, and you're wondering what they're all about. You can actually just like carry the save file over. It's so useful because you don't have to start a key again. The feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players. Nice. And we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. Nice. So gather your friends and make the bosses feel like the little guys. The full game will also support love the art style play. on this. Beautiful. Be ready by customizing your arsenal and honing your skills on missions. What hides beneath? I really hope that I like this game. I'm really unsure about whether I want to get it or not, but so I'll definitely give this demo a try. Should be pretty good. September 13th. Oh god, that's oh, it's the same day as Borderlands. Oh poo. A Star Wars classic. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. I fucking love this game. What? What? Where did this come from? Prepared to wield the full power. Oh fuck it out. Courtesy of Aspire, the full single player experience of Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Oh my god. September Oh man, I'm buying that. I just fucking purchase done. We've got new details on some upcoming games. Oh, here's where my journey Which begins. You are Geralt of Rivia, mercenary monster slayer. Your current Another game I want to get. I can't believe they're bringing Jedi Outcast. Outcast. Oh my god. You'll have a whole world to explore <laughs> at home and Oh man, go. this direct has been when awesome. The Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Christ. Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. This is going to be good. I've not Become played the, the Witcher. Pirate in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Ooh. Then transform into the ultimate assassin hunter in Assassin's Creed Rogue. That's two action-packed games. Oh my god. I have to get this as well. All past DLC Fuck's sake. and new features like touch control and motion aiming coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch in Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. Oh my god. Battle for survival at the edge of a savage frontier. Oh, thingy. Is the online free-to-play action uh, RPG Dauntless? Dauntless. That's it. Whether you're a veteran looking this game to take fun. Slayer on the go or a rookie ready to forge your legacy. You'll hone your skills, craft and customize like Monster Hunter. gear options. This and looks pretty fun. I want to get this. Down boss size behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. Ah, it's going to crossplay. Any more on the horizon. Nice. Does look good. Open your calendar. More games are on the way. Ukulele. Ooh. That was Nina Cooney, that was Farming Simulator, I'm not sure what that is. Just, just dance, for fuck's sake, are they still making these? They must be making money off of them. <laughs> Grid Auto Sport. Uh, this this month. Hopefully that's good. I would like a new racing game, Farming Simulator. Popular franchise, Farming Simulator. Not for me, but people love it. Need a cuny. This looks pretty good. Oh my god, this is out this month as well. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh yeah, boo. Screw you, 2K. You greedy bastards. You're not getting a single penny from me. <clears throat> cool looking food? Yeah. Interesting game. <laughs> not my cup of tea, but people are like that. The Outer Worlds. Coming soon. This game looks awesome. I hope this works well on Switch. I kind of want this. Oh, Devil May Cry 2. They're actually bringing the second one over. Interesting. I always heard people didn't like the second one. Vampires coming over. Christ, Focus Home Interactive. You are going balls to the wall. Are they showing Animal Crossing? I'm surprised. Hmm. Interesting. Hello, Tom. You are the money grubber. Go away, Tom. <laughs> Isn't he cute? So he takes all your money. 
not a, not a fan of Animal Crossing. Never never gotten into it, but maybe this is the one. This is, might be the one that changes my mind. Thank you for choosing the deserted island getaway package. No. <laughs> a laid back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. But this island looks so untidy. For you and the other this is folks unacceptable. participating in the getaway package, the time's come to get into the groove of deserted island life. But why is it untidy? It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs. Cool idea, though. So there's being able to build to worry uh, about. Build it up. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Yay! Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. <laughs> Yay! Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your deserted island needs, including oh my recipes God. for crafting tools. <sighs> I'm so excited right now. Everything I've seen in this direct is kind of bonkers. I mean, this is quite nice having something to just We're sort of not materials. be that into and just be able to sit around. I mean, smash like with more branches. DLC even after the fighter pass. I mean, what is that about? Oh my God! I can't and believe that's stones. becoming a reality. Jedi Outcast 2, like one of the best Star the Wars games. I can't believe that's coming to Switch. Might look a bit dated now, but boy, is that game awesome. Nicely done. Oh, Christ. You can Plus all the other stuff they'll be showing off that I really want. New materials, all the stuff that's like coming out, this. Divinity. All this other stuff, and with crikey. Those, you can craft more Unbelievable. Items. Nintendo are bringing out the big guns tonight. Feel free to place furniture inside. Oh, it's going to be a late one for me. And then we got Banjo or afterwards. Outside. What's not to love? Nut. You can fine tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style. And also Banjo's and out tonight. Fully enjoy what the fuck is that about? Deserted island life. <laughs> I wonder if he brings anything else with him Let's on that DLC. Let's head back mm. to resident services. Here we sell tools and furniture. Now I have a friend of mine who really likes Animal Crossing, so I think she'll be items, very happy including any uh, when she gets some. Uh, as part of our island cleanup plan, Ooh. in addition to the usual <laughs> in-game currency it's a joke in bells, there somewhere. you can also earn Nook miles through the Nook mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. We've eaten. You earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing, Please don't spend too much more long time on this game. Bugs, Honestly, like, this is sort of flowers, not a game that particularly demos well. It's very slow paced. Why are you stealing the flowers? What are you doing? Thanks to crafting, even <laughs> weeds have their uses. Oh, look, a rain thingy. Umbrella. We can find one more one. A lighting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. Apples. A nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Why are you digging a tree up with a shovel? Plant it what is that? What? That, that doesn't even make any that sense. Of the island. No, <laughs> you don't just dig a tree up like the that. The scenery changes with the time and weather. Unbelievable. There will be sunshine. Lie into the kids now. <laughs> cloudy days. Rainfall. And enough wind to shake the trees. <laughs> And make you fall over. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch. Oh my too. god, push the penguin in the water. <laughs> That's a dinky little fish. Sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously. Co op. Up to four players at a time on one system. <laughs> we hope you enjoy living that together animation's and incredible. working together in the same space. Jeez. With a local wireless or internet connection, you can travel to another player's island for a total of eight players. Oh, in one finally, visit. they let you do stuff on other people's islands. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo? This with game's going to be huge. Even if it's not my cup of tea, this game's probably going to be like massive. Nintendo seems to be making like selling gangbusters on a lot of their stuff. So, how's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. There's so much more way to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, and more oh God. calling to you it's a from crazy the island. Cow. You caught a snowflake. We can't wait for you to experience a snowflake. the deserted island getaway package. Twentieth of April. No. March, sorry. Not April. <laughs> Surprised that made an appearance, to be honest. 
お時間をいただきますが、uh, we'll、さて次の映像が最後になりますご覧ください「Super Mario Odyssey 2」<笑> I don't know Is that a blade? It's got to be.、Uh, it's monolith. Or is it Zelda? No, it's definitely, definitely Xenoblade. And it probably look, it looks like Xenoblade Chronicles X. Going by the graphics. Oh no, it's the first one. They're bringing this to Switch, are they? Cool, I can finally play it. <laughs> Do you wish to change it? Huh? Hey? The future. Or is this. I'm assuming this is the first game. Definitive edition. Awesome. I'll finally play it. I do like Shulk as a character. I wonder what they do. Well, that doesn't tell me anything, does it? <laughs> What have you added? 2010年に Wii で発売されたモノリスソフト開発のゼノブレイドがゼノブレイドディフィニティブエディションとして任天堂スイッチで生まれ変わります。来年2020年の発売を予定していますので、you... 今後の続報をお待ちください。本日の放送は以上です。ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。Well, I'm definitely not disappointed with this direct. And I get to watch Banjo Kazooie thing now, so. What's not to like? Battling with Banjo and Kazooie. Peggy 12. Nice, let's do this. Hello. 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 h e l バンジョーカズイの使い方というものを続投でお話しすることになりました。でも皆さん、あれから時間が経ったと思われるかもしれませんけど、収録は実はその2日後だったんですね。<笑>よく働くなと我ながら思います。今回はダイレクト後の時間を少しだけいただいてお話をしたいと思います。勇者の使い方では、えー、やっぱりプレイ画面は私一人だけだったんですね。一人でこうやってコントローラーを触って遊んでました勇者の場合は実は呪文とかをそのまま使うとですねコマンドセンターそのままだと縦とかで受けちゃうんですねなのでわざと受けられるように後ろを向いたり割り出したりとかいうことをこっそりしてました今はこうやってやっていますけど実はゲームキューブなんかの収録の時にはこのように縦に並べていたことが多かったんですね実はですが、これをやるとプロコンでやると LR ボタンを間違えて押してしまうという問題があったために今やりにくいながらもこのようにしています。今回も2人1組でお満場数いらしい言葉が出てきましたけど、頑張っていきたいと思います。それではよろしくお願いします。オーソ万丈数いの大冒険とは実は昔98年に。ニンテンドー64で出ていたスーパーマリオ64タイプのゲームです。I kind of like the fact he's doing these, these things now, so you actually get a bit more character of him. その後、えー、バンジョアンバンジョカズイの大冒険が出た後、えー、バンジョアンカズイの大冒険2、えー、そして日本では販売していませんが、ゲームボーイアドバンスの作品で、えー、2作品です。God, shit, えー、そして、えー、ガレージ大作戦という作品が、えー、Xbox で出ています。ご存知の方はご存知かと思いますが、万丈カズイの大冒険は<笑>、えー、今はマイクロソフトの著作物ということになります。<笑>マイクロソフトさんは、えー、ニンテンドーと、えー、関,関連を考えると、やっぱりライバルプラットフォームなわけですよね。<笑>その上で気持ちよく、えー、万丈カズイの、yeah, えー、使用というか参戦を許してくれまし、like、非常に感謝をしております。レア社さんもすごく歓迎ムードでした。なお、バンジョーカズイの大冒険は、えー、今遊ぶなら XBOX で遊ぶことができます。任天堂の番組で言ってしまいますが、XBOX ぜひ遊んでください。ナイス、I like it。曲についてです
バンジョアド・カズイの大冒険の本編は全体的にカントリー調の音楽なんですねそのまま入れてしまうとどうも対戦感には合わないですから今回はアレンジも頑張っていますそのアレンジ BGM をいくつか、えー、このプレゼンの中でも BGM として流していきたいと思いますせっかくですからこの辺にこの辺に<笑>曲名などを、えー This is actually really funny and I like it. They should definitely do more of this. Yeah, let's do this. Pew! Hey, what do you think about this? 原作におけるバンジョーカズイのアクションをいろいろと、えー、入れています。例えば、えー、これ、カズイダッシュがすごくなってたりしますね。<笑>あと、ジャンプについても、えー、トンボ返りジャンプとか羽ばたきジャンプみたいなものを元にしているものがあります。God, えー、じゃあ、攻撃は、つめつめパンチと言います、えー。原作でもこういう感じでやっていましたが、Do. 今のアクション。合うように、えー、といろいろとモーションについては強化しています。<笑>えー、そして百裂攻撃はキツツキアタック。ダッシュ攻撃は、えー、ドンキーコングも使いますが、ローリングアタック。Oh, nice. これ結構使える技です。He looks fun. 下強攻撃はくちばしアタック。えー、上スマッシュ攻撃が、えー、くちばしドリル。ちょっと原作と違う表現ですけどね、それでも連続攻撃よくあったりします。横スマッシュ攻撃はハリセンカズイと言います。まあ日本でしかハリセンっていう言葉はないので、どういうふうに言うのかなと思ったら、えー、海外でフリーガルバッシュって言います。<笑>フ,リえー、フリーガルっていうのはこのカズイの種族みたいなもんですかね。つまり、えー、鳥はたきということで大体入れたということで。<笑>ナイス。通常空中攻撃はウィングアタックという技がありました。ああ、that's cool。ああ、it looks awesome。I can't wait to play him。空中で空中キツツキアタック3回攻撃。えー、下空中攻撃が、えー、くちばしバスターと落ちながらどしっと当たるみたいなものがあるんですね。<笑>など通常技においてもいろいろな、えー、原作技を使用するものがあります。なおアピールしたアピール上なんかも実は原作にあったんですね。アピール上はガレージ大作戦で時々伸びをするようなものを見せています。必殺技の説明に入りたいと思いますまず通常必殺技は卵ミサイルいつもの技という感じですね、えー、弾が跳ねますところが、えー、卵ミサイルを使うときにボタンを押し続けるとこう卵バキューン状態になります卵バキューンというのは、えー、バンジョーとカズイの大冒険2で FPS のように進む画面があったんですけれども、nice. えー、それをモチーフにしたものです。<笑> like、一応、引き打ちみたいなことができたりしますが、<笑>打ち続けると,、えー、と、だんだん卵の威力が下がってきますので要注意です。Nice. しゃがんだり、シールドボタンを押すと戻ります。次に横必殺技がワンダーウィングです。原作でもそうだったんですけれども、無敵で突進する技ですね。かなり強くて、Oh wow, that seems like it's a really useful move. Just to break through something, get in on someone as well. Tada, a tama no way, Hanega Hyoji Sarati Mastane, go my de, ima sky kiri mast. Sky kiri to, jibunga misuni narumade, sky mast. So you lose a stock. Oh, Tama no way, Shika Hyoji Sarati no de, Shio Kaisu ni tsuitewa, yoku, a tama no naka ni tataki, that's interesting. Fukiwaza ni mo sky mast, she. Okay, so p e o p l e are not going to be able to do that. Interesting. There are many weak points that you can use to do that. For example, you can use shield to do that. So, you can use it to do that. Oh, interesting. To be honest, Wonder Wing is not going to be able to do that. You can use it 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 to do that. <laughs> so much to take in, this is insane. <laughs> I'm like trying to like talk and focus. Take that. 
上必殺技上昇必殺技としてとても珍しいのですが、うん、ジャンプした後空中ジャンプとかができたりするんですよ、ね oh, 空中ジャンプ回数が多いということになりますけどダウンなので、えー、落下をしようとした時に位置空中回避みたいなものも使ったりすると、oh、God, すごく、えー、空気の度合いが増やせるということになりますちなみにショックジャンプはボタンを押す長さで、えー、その高さが変わってきますナイスちょっと違いがありますよね、えー、そして下必殺技はおけつ玉ですおけつからポンと爆弾を吐くと爆弾エクですねこれひねくれた飛び道具でなんとあの後ろのポンしか打てませんそしてさらに爆弾エッグの形がフットボール状になっているためにそのポンポン飛ぶ奇跡というのがあったりするんですね<笑>そして一定時間後に爆発することになっています比較的牽制に向いているものだと思いますこれ相手も扱いなのでこう拾って投げたりするとす<笑><笑> kind of move I like. 相手に投げつけられることもあるかもしれないですただ爆発するまでの時間というのは比較的短いので<笑>拾われたとしてもお互いにちゃんと投げないとすぐに爆発してしまうみたいなことになりますね。That's gonna be interesting. いろいろとユニークな使い方ができるんです。Oh, why you can shift it onto people? Nice. と言う。そして最後の切り札はジンジョネーター。ジンジョネーターは原作でグランチルダにとどめを刺したものなんですけど、ね、oh、God, 相手を思いっきり突き飛ばすという技になっています。Awesome. We get to see the stage. 専用ステージはくるくる山です。海外では実はスパイラルマウンテンなんて言うんですけどね。Oh, の awesome. 下の方にちょっと螺旋状になっているような山になっています。それが回転の表示が出てくる。なんと回るというこれ、えー、スマブラのルールの中でも極めて不思議なことをしています特殊ステージですねアイテムがあっても他のものがあってもとにかく回っちゃう回ることによってこの螺旋状の坂とかの位置が、えー、異なってくるために復帰するポイントなども変わってくるんですねこれはもうしたでしょうか I am very curious about playing on this. 時々こういう足場が発生することもありますグランチルダの砦がある角度では、えー、橋がかかるようなこともあります、huh. ファイターの説明もステージの説明もある程度やりましたし、oh, これから実践的に対戦をしてみようと思います<笑>今回の対戦はなんと2対1のチームバトルでやることにしますドンキーコング、ディディーコング対、えー、バンジョーカズイあれということは実はこっちは2人 ?2 人いるから安心だ<笑>いやそんなことはないですけど絶対ちょっとほっとくとあのすごく相手にいっぱいやられそうなので慎重にいきたいと思いますちょっと牽制をした方がいいですねこういう前後に出す球もこういう時には役に立つあとバンジョーカズイは、えー、カズイのようにってあっそうだよ looks like a そういうのもうまく駆使して相手を圧倒していきましょうそして相手を圧倒していきましょうそして相手を圧倒していきましょうそして相手を圧倒していきましょうそして相手を圧倒していきましょうそして相手を圧倒していきましょうそして相手を圧倒していきましょうそして相手を圧倒していきましょうそして相手を圧倒していきましょうそして相手を圧倒していきましょうそして相手を圧倒していきましょうそして相手を圧倒していきましとても不利なんですが、なんとか頑張りたいなぁと思ったりします。ワンダーウィングあと2回。サンソイがイズボイスライズワー、ウィチズオーソンサイ。ちゃんといろんな技の紹介をしていかないといけないですね。引き打ち、引き打ち、引き打ち。相手。ああ、止まっちゃった。これあげる。今だ。そして。いいよ。Who do you get? DK? Oh, DK dead. <laughs> これで一人減ったら楽になるぞ。Defeated. せっかくだから切り札を使いたいけど、<laughs> ちょっと難しい。<laughs> ああ、おいいですよ。Oh, he's got another final smash. Oh, he's not gonna. Ah, he might get one. Chief 殺ですね。
You might kill him on that. No, he did. Hi, coach. <laughs> Casual. <笑>以上です。ラスオーソン。え、ステージをいろいろゲストもご紹介したいと思います。まず最初は魔女グランチルダ。これは万丈数いワンでは、え、岩の中に封印されてしまうという、そうそうの人ですね。ミュージックサウ
今までのシリーズのホームランコンテストよりもだいぶいろいろなところがパープしたのでぜひお楽しみください。距離300キロぐらい。これは東京名古屋間ぐらいだと思いますね。<笑>透明高速を使った状態でしょうか。<笑>実はこれ、2人用も楽しむことができます。はい、2人で遊びます。2人でダメージを食べる食べる、食べまくる。そこそこかなよっと違う<笑>こうやって遊ぶんじゃないですね<笑> 2人で遊ぶっていうのはあくまで、えー、お友達2人で遊ぶという意味であって2人のファイターを1人で遊ぶというわけではないです<笑>皆さんはお友達と遊んでください<笑> oh, cool. みんなの投稿ではミーファイターがカスタマイズされていろいろな方から投稿されていると思いますが今までは必殺技をカスタマイズできないので少し使いにくいところがありましたこれからは自由に必殺技をカスタマイズできるようになりました見た目が良いファイターがいたら自由にダウンロードしてい,ただいて自分のフリーコンテンツを必殺技にしてくださいそれに今までのバージョンでできたミーファイターには適用されず新しいバージョンから適用になりますのでミーファイターを改めて、えー、投稿していただくのも良いかと思いますいろいろな外見を持つミーファイターをぜひお楽しみくださいミーファイターも追加されますまずはこちらをご覧ください Anything from Microsoft? That'd be kind of cool. Unlikely, but I'd be down for that. Do, 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 do. That's Dr. Mario. What the hell? What the hell the hell are you? Mystical Ninja. p o e m o n I do like this as a good way of adding in some fun stuff. Oh! Zero? Not zero.、Uh, Proto Man, that's what I meant. Nice. I'm down for that. Ooh, Mega Man X. Oh, they're bringing back the X and stuff. Oh, zero. Not X. That's cool, though. So you can play, you can have it as an assist trophy on that. Pokemon? That's awesome! <laughs> Team Rocket! So cool! I like it.、Uh, I like it. The Undertale? New remix included. I can't. The fuck? What the fuck is happening right now? Like, what? I did. What? <laughs> What? I'm so confused. What? What? <laughs> I mean, I've got to get the Sans one just for the remix, but like. No, I don't. <laughs> ね、I can't believe it. What? I'm buying him. This, this is what? No, no. <laughs> ですえー、とそしてスネークスネークとなぜ隠れていたんでしょうね<笑><笑>それぞれ9月の20日発売ですナイスあおまがだスネークのクソクウーカノウェイトだワンドカズイを含むアップデートの配信日は本日からです曲10曲とステージを含むワンジョーカズイの価格は
税込みで650円外税になると602円になります<笑> How are you gonna talk about I'm surprised. ダイレクトで少しお話がありましたがテリー・ボガードの参戦が決まりました、えー、一応参戦ムービーは作ってみたもののゲームパートが全くなかったんですよ、ね、おー、今日はどうなるんだと,んだと実はほとんどできてはいるんですがどうもそのムービーとして完成させるまでにはちょっと時間がかかりそうなので、えー、なかなかお見せすることはできませんでしたでもまああの SNK のというかネオジオを模したオープニングちょっと面白かったですよねテリーについてここで少しだけゲーム画面をお見せしたいと思いますので、Rising Tackle。ああ、これは素晴らしい。ナイス。バーニングナックル。最後にダウンロードコンテンツのキャラクターをさらに作ることが発表されました。いやー、自分としては。<笑>またゴールが通るんだという印象でどれだけこのスマブラに関わっているのかというようなところはあるにはあるんですがでもですね自分としてはワクワクしてもいるんですこれでもやっぱりスマブラのキャラクターが一人増えるというのは We're gonna hit 100. We're gonna 世界観が一個増えるというのと、oh、他のそのゲームのファンとかが喜ぶ機会が増えるということですね。Oh、God, another pass.、Uh, not fire pass. スマブラ SP がこれだけたくさんのキャラクターやファンリターやあるいは、えー、とゲームの世界観などを内包しているすごく巨大なゲームになり、たとええー、スマブラシリーズが今後存続するとしてもこれだけ集まる機会というのはまあまずないと思っています。But this is twice. なので。少しでも記録を伸ばすべくこれからも頑張っていこうと考えています。Oh, ぜひ応援いただければと思います。それでは今日の、えー、放送は以上でお開きにしたいと思います。どうもありがとうございました。God, I feel so spoiled. This, this man is like a legend. Oh, so good. So good. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, there's a lot to go over there, guys. I, I hope you've enjoyed、uh, watching me lose my mind over a lot of this. Smash is my baby. I love that game, it's so cool.、Um, I'm gonna go and、uh, play around with Banjo for a bit. <laughs> But thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this.、Um, like, subscribe,、uh, comment down below, give me your own feedback, tell me what you thought of it, see what you think, and whatnot. But、um, until next video, I'll see you then.